All right. It's going to be a really short video today. And it's because I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet for my next project. And uh, I'm just getting ready to make the armature for the uh, piece I'm going to do, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I'm going to let my imagine. well, I'm going to go through a bunch of my uh, reference photographs, uh, photographs I've taken of uh, models uh, over the years. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do next. And uh, I just don't know where I'm going to go yet with it. Um, I didn't think about anything last week. I just enjoyed my week off. And I should have probably been thinking about what I was, what I was going to do next. But part of taking a little vacation from everything is taking a vacation from everything. So I'm going to be doing this today and tomorrow and forever how long it takes. Uh, it may be a couple of days before I come back. But I'll probably post another video tomorrow just to update you. Uh, I'm not going to show how I make the armatures because I've got instructional videos or an instructional video on how to make armatures. Uh, I have one on making armatures of humans, dogs, and horses. I picked those three because that's usually what people uh, do, uh, you know, just, just for fun. Um, but it gives you the basis for making armatures, no matter what you choose to do. If you choose to do a uh, lion uh, in Africa, you'll know how to make an armature for it. Um, it's just, it's a simple method that took me probably 10, 15 years to figure out how to make the most economical armatures. It used to cost 20, 30, 40 bucks to, uh, and this is back in the 70s, when the dollar was uh, a lot more powerful. And uh, it used to take a lot of money to make an armature back then because I'd get pipe, you know, uh, and a flange and put it in for uh, a support. Well, I found easier ways to make support for your clays and your armatures um, and it, it took a lot of time and that's what I put in my instructional videos is uh, all these things that took me years to figure out so anyway if you're interested in, in sculpting or even if, as a hobby uh, my videos will help you with that so I have a link in the video description below this video and if you're watching me on TikTok uh, you can go to my YouTube channel which is David Lemon simple and uh, you can find a link underneath any of my videos to where you can buy my instructional videos they're live they're streaming on Vimo I used to do them on DVDs but my DVD recorder is screwed up. And besides that, it's getting harder to find DVDs because they're phasing them out as anybody who buys a new computer knows. All right, I have my armature made. And tomorrow I'll start adding, well, I gotta figure out the pose first before I can put clay on this. But uh, this uh, armature wire, this uh, real thick, uh, uh, aluminum wire is a very strong wire and I swear to I swear you could probably do a figure like this with this wire and it will not fall over because it is it's hard to, to bend and uh, let's see I've got the package here and I'll put the label up showing you that it is a uh, 10 foot roll of 3.05 meter uh, millimeter 
I don't know what it is. It says here quarter inch 6.4 millimeter wire. And I got it on Amazon. All right. And then I used a smaller diameter uh, copper wire or aluminum wire for the arms because I don't need to have it as strong as the legs are. And I used an even smaller diameter uh, aluminum wire for the, uh, the uh, head uh, armature. This, is, uh, this wire here for the arms is actually a bonsai tree wire. You can look that up on Amazon as well. Bonsai tree wire is a aluminum wire, but it's easy to form and it keeps its shape pretty good. All right, everybody, that's it for today. And uh, I'll come back when I uh, get something figured out. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.